This is a view through a polarizing filter. The filter only lets through light of one polarization angle and blocks light at 90 degrees to it. Therefore one polarizer lets through 50% of unpolarized light and two polarizers at 90 degrees to each other block 100% of the light. The view now is of two polarizers crossed at 90 degrees. One might think that if we place a third polarizer between these two filters, it would only make it darker. However, when a third polarizer is positioned between the two and rotated to 45 degrees, some light gets through the front polarizer even though it is at 90 degrees to the back one. This shows that the polarizer is actually changing the polarization. This is a dramatic example of the measurement changing what is being measured. Light is made of photons that are quantum by nature. Their polarization can only be parallel or at right angles to the direction in which it is measured. All the photons passing through the first polarizer are vertically polarized. But the polarization at 45 degrees is not defined until it is measured. Therefore half of them get through the middle polarizer. The photon is probabilistic they pass through the filter completely, or not at all, and the probabilities depend only on the angle difference of the two filters. This is logical if the future is unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table and the wavelength of the electromagnetic spectrum. New photons are formed relative to the angle of the middle filter and this changes the intensity of the light going through the next filter. In this theory the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual the future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment relative to our actions. We have the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy forming the ever-changing world of everyday life that we measure as a period of time. With the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the physics of time, as a geometrical process, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. Within such a process, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle represents the same uncertainty we have with any future event at the smallest scale of the process. With each photon oscillation only occurring once, forming a probabilistic future relative to the atoms of the periodic table. And this is exactly what we are seeing unfolding in this experiment. Some people say this is the observer effect and it is linked in some way to consciousness. But it is not because we can repeat the experiment with part of the electromagnetic spectrum that is invisible to the observer. The box on the left is a microwave transmitter. The box on the right is a receiver with an audio amplifier and speaker. The brain boards in between play the part of polarizing filters. Each polarizer is just an array of copper conductors. 
the microwaves pass when the electric fields are at 90 degrees to the conductors. The transmitter and the receiver are themselves vertically polarized. This experiment highlights that this is a universal process that is relative to the whole of the electromagnetic spectrum. We have electromagnetic waves as a continuously varying vector field and when the waves come in contact with the atoms they are constrained to certain energy levels with the future unfolding photon by photon. In classical physics of our everyday life, the same process is in play when waves are constrained in certain ways like pipes or instrument strings forming harmonics. In this theory, creation is in the hand and eye of the beholder as a process of continuous creation or energy exchange. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.